The Corded Ware Complex was a widespread early Copper Age archaeological horizon across much of temperate Europe, recognized by cord impressed pottery, single burial graves, and characteristic grave goods, such as battle axes or shaft holes. Most genetic and archaeological syntheses view corded ware as strongly associated with an expansion of steppe derived populations that likely carried early Indo European dialects into northern and central Europe. In this video, we will explore the genomes of two Copper Age Lithuanians, Jiva Karai 1 and Plinkagalus 242. Let's meet Jiva Karai 1. According to G25, he is closest to East Finns out of all modern populations. This is likely due to him carrying a high portion of Eastern hunter gatherer ancestry at 44%, which is significantly higher than even Finns. He had heavy Caucasus and Iranian Neolithic farmer ancestry, a characteristic typical of the steppe and quite low Anatolian farmer admixture. According to this model, Jiva Karai 1 was about 97% steppe with minor farmer admixture. Regarding more ancient or deep ancestry, Jiva Karai 1 descended from all the major components that West Eurasians have, ancient North Eurasians, Western hunter-gatherers, and Zudzwana. According to my trait predictor, Jiva Karai was predicted to have blue eyes, dark blonde hair, white skin, wavy hair, and a Greek nose shape. He was predicted to be a warrior, to have intermediate D2 receptor availability, average odds of autism, to be lactose intolerant, to have lower empathy, no risk variance for hemochromatosis, higher odds of cardiovascular issues, higher odds of epithelial cancer, lower odds of autoimmune disease, intermediate homocysteine levels, one risk variant for colorblindness in OPN1SW, intermediate odds of obesity, and blood type A. He carried rare risk variants for Riefenstein's, porphyria, beta thalassemia, FTAAD, Hirschsprung disease, prostate cancer, Finnish major salad disease, holoprosencephaly, 3, and biotinidase deficiency. With my beta-calc tool, he scored high for odds of bipolar type 1, coronary artery disease, heart attack, hypertension, mental disorders, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, schizophrenia, skin cancer, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. He scored low for odds of alcoholism, asthma, colorectal cancer, esophageal cancer, and ovarian cancer. Now we move on to Plinkagallus 242. According to G25, she is also closest to East Finns. Her Mesolithic breakdown is even more extreme than Jiva Karai. She is exactly 50% Eastern hunter-gatherer. She also has heavy Caucasus and Iranian admixture, and almost no Western hunter-gatherer admixture. According to this model, Plinkagallus was also heavily steppe in origin with only minor farmer admixture. Plinkagallus was also majority Zudzwana in origin, although its Zudzwana admixture is significantly lower than Jiva Karai. According to my trait predictor, she was predicted to have medium brown eyes, black hair, light brown skin, straight hair, and a snub nose shape. She was predicted to be a worrier, lactose intolerant, to have intermediate D2 receptor availability, intermediate odds of autism, lower empathy, no hemochromatosis risk variants, intermediate odds of cardiovascular issues, lower odds of epithelial cancers, higher odds of autoimmune disease, intermediate homocysteine levels, two risk variants for colorblindness in OPN1SW, intermediate odds of obesity, and blood type O. She carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's disease, phenylketonuria, and spina bifida. With beta-calc, she scored particularly high for odds of anxiety, hypertension, obesity, Parkinson's disease, and type 2 diabetes. She scored low for alcoholism, asthma, breast cancer, coronary artery disease, heart attack, mental disorders, schizophrenia, stroke, and type 1 diabetes. You can purchase both samples from the link in the description of this video. In the description you will also find links to purchase my tools and services.